welcome to the Roy Rogers News Channel. Thank you for watching. All right, and before we cover this in a walkthrough for part 15, I must mention three disclaimers. Disclaimer number one is that I don't have any HM slave in my party, and all the HMs are being summoned by Move Oak Ronas, which you can obtain from the PokeMO gift shop. Disclaimer number two is that all my party members are equipped with the black hole particle effects, which you can also purchase from the gift shop as well. And disclaimer number three is that I do not receive any compensation or any kickback from PokeMO if you do make purchases in the gift shop. Now, the reasons for having Move Okronas and for having the black hole particles is well for aesthetics but also another more important reason is so that way I can encourage you to swing by the gift shop and make a purchase there to help PokeML with their server expenses so thank you so much to those who have donated to PokeML all right so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into our walkthrough so let's go ahead and I've decided let's go ahead and go over to Orberg city over to the cave one moment okay there we go Let me do something really quick all right i am back i went ahead and put on the repel now let's go ahead and use rock smash and let's go downstairs shall we so let's go ahead and get this item item is quite an easy item to get compared to the other one so you can get a TM flash which is very interesting all right there we go hello ma'am you see the pumps on the ground it feels like uh, it feels awesome taking those fast on a bike. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and get the big pearl there. Okay. And there's Brick Break. Okay. And we should get Hello there, sir. I'm a veteran, yes, but uh, but you don't dare treat me like a senior citizen. Okay, there we go. Yeah, no problem. So, what are we going to do? Graveler? No burn. Ah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do ice beam, and I'm gonna see what this guy has next. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm several levels higher than this guy. Alright, let's go ahead and use Scald and we should be done. So young, so talented. Oh, thank you so much. Alright, now let's go ahead and use Strength here. There's the Earth Plate. Alright. Do. Okay, let's go and use Rock Smash, and we're gonna go ahead and use Strength there. Let's go ahead and check the TM. So we got Focus Punch there as well, which is nice. 
So now all we gotta do is just exit the cave. All right. By the way, I don't think that there's any hidden item here. Yes. Oh, nice name, Ko... Kromosaki? I hope I said your name correctly. That's a cool name. Now, let's go ahead and go to Jubilife, and there's actually another cave that we need to go to. And that cave is known as the Ravaged Path. Alright, so let's go ahead and go down. Let's go ahead and go there. Okay. You don't have to smash all those rocks. You can just navigate through it. And we got our rock tomb right there. Alright. So, ah, there's a TM there, I think. Is that, is that a TM? Oh, yeah, it is a TM. It's a TM. Let's see. We're going to find out. an antidote, but it's not really what I'm looking for. We gotta surf all the way there since there's a Pokeball. Alright, there. There we go, there's Water Pulse. The, that is the TM. Alright. So, we got Water Pulse. Now all we have to do is just go over to Route 224. So that is going to be... Oh, that's going to be in that proximity over there. Let's let's go ahead and check up on those items to see how we're doing. Ah! Yeah, so we need... We need to surf there, and we need to get the item. It's over there. Alright, there's a Pokeball. Alright. Now, we gotta surf over here and see what we can get. And there's an HP up. Alright. Alright. Pokeball. All right. So now that we now we now that we did the Hornburg Gate and the Cave North of Jubilee City, let's go ahead and continue our everyday schedule. And let's go ahead and go to the fight area now. Um. Yes, I'm going to use that repel. I'm going to go through here because the way how the um, way how the hidden items are formatted, the hidden items are located at that. I mean, the 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 order that it's in, according to my notes, is this particular order. So we're going to go over here. All right. So our first hidden item is going to be the rare candy, which is it's probably not a uh, it's probably a bit away from here. Well, let's go ahead and get the item over here. Razor Fang, nice. Ah, uh, man. For any Glyscore users, then that's a wonderful item for you. 
All right. You know what's so funny? When I played Sinnoh originally, I remember the, the, these two. And I remember seeing them in Sinnoh. I was like, yeah, alright, that's just not really too impressive. But then, then I saw some Kanto Pokemon while I was battling. I was like, wow, I can't believe it. There's actually Kanto Pokemon in Pokemon Platinum. It blew my mind. But, Pokemo connected all the regions so now if you see Pokemon from other regions it's uh you know it's it doesn't impress me that much as much as it used to I should say but it's it's cool that we get Pokemon from other regions over here in Sinnoh What is our last Pokemon over here? Our last Pokemon is Farfetch'd. There we go. I don't think this Farfetch'd is going to survive after this close combat. There we go. Alright, then we should talk to the other NPC and see what Pokemon the NPC has. If I recall, I think it was a... What was it? I think it was a Slowbro? I think? Or not... No. Is there a Slowbro or, or a Slowpoke? Let's see. Let's see if my memory was correct on that. Slowbro! Okay, there we go. I, I knew it had so, some slow... Like something in the Slowpoke family. I knew that. But I just didn't know who it was until, until the battle started here. We had slow poke and slow bro. After this, I will reluctantly hand the prize money. All right, no problem. Yeah, yeah no problem. All right. What do we have over here? Oh, this is a rare candy. All right, so there are a lot of items here. I don't know where to start. <laughs> oh man, that's a great situation to be at, right? I mean, you don't know where to start, but yeah. By the way, our first hidden item is gonna be the rare candy, which is going to be at that bridge right over, let's see, right over there in the middle someplace. Let's go and ding it. That is our very first hidden item in the video. 220, which is going to be our rare candy. Very first hidden item. 221 should be at a grassy patch somewhere uh, with a little hole in it. This place. Let's ding that. That is the big mushroom. And we got two more hidden items. We got a, a leaf stone by a house. Hello? We're going to control to make sure there's nothing strange going on and occasionally we will battle. Okay. No problem. No problem. I, I'm okay with battling. What do you have? Well, this should be easy. This should be very easy. Alright.
Oh yeah, a flamethrower can take care of this uh, Skymarine pretty good. Alright, so Iron Head, how much damage is that going to do? Ah, oh, didn't do that much. Oh darn it. Had the cost up, Barry. No problem, no problem. I still got Toxic Croc, which can do Bullet Punch. And uh, could perhaps override another Barry. Thanks much. You're welcome, kind sir. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to figure out how to get that item. But first, let's go ahead and get this item. So this item is a revive. All right. So, uh, hello. Something missing in the auto battle. I came for it. All right, no problem. Vibra. Okay, we got Vibra. There we go. And Starmie. I'm going to go ahead and do U-turn and hope for the best. There we go. That is what you call hoping for the best. We got the power bunny here. There we go. See, now I know what I lack. No problem, no problem. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and lead with Toxicroc here, since Toxicroc has... So since Toxicroc is pretty high leveled. I know what some people are telling me, that I need to get that item. So I'm going to get that item real quick. Yes. Okay. So this item, right? This is the HP up. There we go. By the way, the very last, I gotta say this so since we're close to it, the very last walkthrough episode of this series is going to go through the places that I missed. I mean, the buildings that, that I've saved for last. Oh, oh yeah, so there's a hidden item. Oh, there's a hidden item in the grassy patch. That is a leaf stone. Okay. Let's go ahead and ding that. And, not to mention, there is an item over here. This is kind of rev uh, reminiscent of Hoenn, where they had a hidden hyper potion there. And it was, it was encapsulated in a Pokeball, but you couldn't see it because the trees were blocking it. Alright. So, yes, let's go ahead. Let's go, and go inside to see what this guy has to offer. Battle zone, why not let your Pokemon drink this? Oh, thank you! Hey, this is where you get a free fresh water. Uh, okay. Now our next hidden item is going to be a... It's going to be an Ultra Ball, which is going to be a little ways away. Hello there. I'm pumped up. I'm to do, to do. Yep, exactly. Let's go ahead and battle. Pincer, nice. I gotta say this, in the beta concepts of this in a walkthrough, I was considering Pincer, because Pincer... Um, Pincer has a great attack stat. But the problem with Pinsir 
is that let's see here the problem with the pincer and the reason why I didn't pick it was because um, the HP is the HP and some of its stats are I mean they're decent but they're not really the best plus not to mention I was going for more type coverage and what was in Pincer's place was actually Gliscor. So Gliscor and Ninetales were going to always be in the Sinnoh walkthrough, but but I needed a, a physical and special attacker to go to, and, and I felt like that Gliscor and Ninetales... Real interesting story about Ninetales. Since we're near the end of the walkthrough, I, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So... Ninetales, I was originally going to put, I was gonna originally going to put Houndoom here in this place. And so I was like, man, Houndoom is pretty good, Ninetales is pretty good. So guess how I determined who was going to be in that place? By a simple coin flip. That's how. Uh, I forgot exactly how, like, heads or tails of the quarter, but... I landed on the side that, that I put Ninetales on, since both of them were so good. I mean, Houndoom and Ninetales were so good in their in their departments. I just, I felt like that, which one should, should I do? And the coin flip determined that Ninetales should be it. So, yeah, that, that, that was very interesting, the fact that, <laughs> that it was determined based upon a coin flip. See here, so yeah, it's a, that, that, that was interesting. Because yeah, if it would have landed on the other side, then you would have seen Houndoom used instead of Nine Tails. But in retrospect, I'm glad that Nine Tails took the lead because Nine Tails does. Oh, hello. Now, no, Nine Tails is. I mean, Nine Tails kind of has a beauty to it. Houndoom, Houndoom looks quite intimidating, but Ninetales, I noticed that both men and women like Ninetales, so I'm glad that, that I've decided to go with, with Ninetales. I guess, we, I guess you would call this in marketing uh, uh, a unisex mascot, where essentially where both men and women enjoy the Pokemon, and that, that's not very common to find. Usually, either the Pokemon... Sir, either the Pokemon caters towards a male audience or towards a, a, uh, or a female audience. So, yeah. Um, yeah, our item is a little ways away. Um, if you want, I can check that place. I, I don't... Nope, there's no item here. There we go. I know some people are probably going to write me telling me that I should do that. So, somewhere in this proximity, there is a hidden item. Right there, there's an Ultra Ball. There's an Ultra Ball. Alright. And if you want, I can even use Rock Climb. And see what we can get here. There we go. Hit potential. Uh, the championship is within my strength. Okay. Dragon Tamer Griff uh, Griffery. Um, I do have to say something here. This guy needs to hold a Yachi Berry. Now, I don't know if he's if he is or not because I'm not using a nice type move. But if he's not, then if he wants to strive for the championship, then he should be able to grab a Yachi Berry. I would say the same for Altaria because I'm about to go into. Empoleon, and Empoleon is about to launch an Ice Beam. That's going to probably hit this guy pretty hard. Let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. Potential doesn't mean I can win. You are correct. It just means you need to keep training and just, just diversify your team slightly. All right. There's the Dawnstone. So, 
there we go. All right. Now we have the survival area, which there is actually a hidden item in this area. Where is it, you may ask? It is, that's a very good question. If we were to jump off the ledge over here and jump off this ledge, there is a PP up right by that tree. So we're gonna go there and let's ding it right here. Where are you the I'm the camera guy, obviously. Have you seen the TV program? Search for the red gear. Oh hey, that's you! Yeah, that's uh I filmed that documentary. Oh, that's great. Okay. Hello there, sir. This move doubles the power of the Pokemon is used to poison, to burn. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I definitely want Vacade. Yeah. There we go. Hey, you can get Vacade here. Frontier challenges. Some, some, some commemorative prints. All right. Yeah, no problem. All right. And we are about to go in our acting stage in three, two, one. Doors shut tight. Members only printed on it. Oh, alright, I guess we're not going to do our acting thing yet. So, there's actually a few hidden items at Route 226. Let's see, there are... Oh, we're at the last page of our hidden items documentation. As for the pictures, we still need to grab a few more, but other than that, I mean... As far as where the list is, we are at the last page. So there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five hidden items here. And our first hidden item is going to be the tiny mushroom, which I don't think is over here. But what is over here is, well, I mean, there's a Pokeball here. Let's go ahead and grab it. Oh, there's a red shard. And what's over here is... Jump roll, please. You share shards with me. The Shard Tutor. All right. I do plan to... Um, I do plan to adjust the Finding Every Move Second Edition Guide. If Canine XL is watching, thank you so much for for putting your trust in me to to adjust your guide. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to putting in this location. Alright, so let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and uh, move down here. So, oh, oh man, I know some people are going to tell me I should have spoken to the lady and and uh, I should have seen what, what she was going to say. I don't think she was going to give anything, but... Alright, sorry, living here where I reach you. This is a guitar. Okay. Yep, that's no problem. Okay, there we go. Okay, now. Let's continue on our adventure. So, I don't think that there's a hidden item here, but there's an... There's a Pokeball over there, which we can get to by using Rock Climb. Essentially like a puzzle of the Rock Climb. Right there. Let's go and grab it. There's our Carbos. But that's not our hidden item. Our hidden item is going to be a little ways away. It's going to be a tiny mushroom. It's going to be under a big patch of, of grass. But, hey, this is some... This is, an, this is a golden opportunity to grab some training here. Let's go and grab some trainers and let's see what we can do. All right, so we have Tarog. Let's go ahead, do poison jab, and then 
after Tyrogue, then, then, then we're going to see who's next. Who's next is going to be Hitmonchan. And we should be able to use Poison Jab and knock it out. There we go. This guy, although he's an ace trainer, he uh, he didn't diversify his team, which is unfortunate. All right. And there's a berry patch for anyone that, that enjoys doing berry farming. All right. Now let's go ahead and grab that Pokeball up there. A lagging tail. All right. I want to grab the, the the these two people while while they're looking at me, so that way I can get so I can get double training. So what do we have? All right, I think I can uh, measure out the field here. There we go. There's Firo, and what is our other Pokemon? Oops, I, that, that was an error. Okay. There's Altaria. Now let's go ahead... I'm gonna go ahead and do Double Edge there, just to kind of change up things a little bit. Would you be tougher than the Mother Nature victory? The, this is a victory for you. All right, there we go. Now, now we got that situated. Let's go ahead. Oh, there's a Pokeball there. And that, to your right, is the patch of grass that we want to get to because that that patch of grass, at least according to my notes. Yeah, that patch of grass is where a hidden item should be. Yes. There's... Alright, there's energy ball. Alright, there we go. Now, let's... Uh, there's actually... I think that there's something on... Yeah, there's something on that island. But we're going to get to that in a moment. First, we're going to go ahead... There we go. Let's go and ding it right there. There's our tiny mushroom. Alright. So, there's our very first item. Our very first hidden item of this route. The second hidden item is going to be if we use Surf and if we were to navigate through. Let's go and battle her first. Because she, because she looks like that she wants a battle. Okay. Swimmer Linda. Hello, Linda. All right. Let's go ahead and use Poison Jab. I'm using Poison Jab because it's Stab. Because Toxicroc is poison fighting. Stab, same same type of attack boost. All right. And Wilmer. Gulp, gulp, I'm sinking. Okay. Now, hidden items should be right here. Let's go and ding it. That is going to be our heart scale. And that's going to be number 28. All right. Oh yeah, we oh, <laughs> we actually need to go to the same patch. The same patch of grass actually held two. I think it held a few more hidden items. Huh. Okay. We're gonna have to gauge where they are. Uh. 
Okay, so it's, is it right here? No. Right here. No. Here. Let's go and ding it. There's our PP Max. Second PP Max, which is nice. How about our other item? Our other item is going to be the Big Mushroom, which is going to be about, oh, I think it's going to be right here. No? Let's go and ding it right there. There, There's our other item right there. And we have our last item, which is going to be the the rare candy, which is on a separate island. Now there's a trainer here, I think, or trainer NPC. Let's go and chat with him. Hello, bonjour, all the rest have... have one of the uh, I... <laughs> Actually, that that's a pretty decent trade. I mean, Finneon is not really the best Pokemon, so... Yeah, that, that, that's a decent trade. I actually feel bad for ripping that guy off. He, you know... He should ask for a Feedbass. There you go, let's go and ding it. That is a rare candy. And we got all the hidden items of this route. So, we can go either on that avenue where the grass is, or we can go over here, and we should encounter our swimmer right there. Pokemon are ready to go. Okay, no problem. That brings back a lot of memories. I remember back when I was EV training for attack, and all of a sudden I I encountered a shiny Carvana while I was just listening to an economics lecture. And <laughs> it was it was quite it was quite eye popping. To this very day it remains untouched. But it was quite awesome. When I encountered it. Alright. Our muscles are deflating. Okay, no problem. Now let's... Yes. Here's the beauty about using Max Repel. Max Repel really does make the adventure go much faster. There's our Stark Mountain over there. We could go to Stark Mountain. Uh Oh, we can't use defog. That's that's unfortunate. Before we get ourselves too involved in Stark Mountain, well Oh darn it, I can't use defog. I thought you were just some random NPC that was gonna tell me about the about the sandstorm. Oh, oh well. I mean, let me just say this. I'm glad that I have Gliscor in my team. Since I can take advantage of Sandvale. Earthquake? There we go. Manetric. I'm going to go ahead and do Drain Punch once again. Manetric is down and out. That's what I like about Drain Punch. Drain Punch is kind of the, the way how I enjoy recovering my health. Oh good, the sand has subsided. So Route 228, so so that is number 230, or no, that's actually 240. So we're skipping all the way over 
to 240, which should be should be right by that guy. Let's uh. Let's go and ding it. There's our max repel right there, 240. There's still a few more items over here. But I'm going to switch into Gliscor right there. And there's our Pokeball right over here. Antidote. All right. There's the Karate Guy right over here. Hello. Quest is bring do accept your challenge. I, I'm going to accept your challenge, yes. Okay, our next hidden item is going to be right by the karate guy, actually. So, right after we get done battling, we're going to go ahead and go to the right of him and we're going to get our rare candy. Oops, that, that was a misclick. I did not want to do earthquake. If I can do aerial ace, I want to do aerial ace. Man, my mouse is quite clicky today. It just, it won't let me do Earthquake. <laughs> Sorry, it won't let me do Aerial Ace, which is kind of hilarious. Alright. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Let's go and ding it. There's our rare candy, 241. 242, that's going to be a nugget. So that should be inside... Oh, well, it's probably inside a, a cave someplace. Th I think that's the cave. That is the cave, I think. Right there. All right. So we're going to need this item to gauge where it is. Let's go and ding it. There's our nugget right there. That is our nugget. And let's go and get this item. This is a hard stone. Now we got that item. Now we now our next hidden item is gonna be a full restore, which should be in a grassy patch somewhere. Yes. Let's go and get this item. We got an iron right there. All right. Hello there, kind sir. Dragon Pokemon are scarce beings. I don't know what that's what okay. Now I'll prove it to you. Okay, yeah, no problem. I want to go ahead and do Aerial Ace and hope for the best. There we go. This reminds me of a Hoenn battle. Oh man, are you gonna bring me back to Hoenn? Not good enough, we're still not strong enough. No problem. Yep, now let's go ahead and bicycle all the way over here. We should get our item right. Right over... Oh, there is no item over there. But... I should see a grassy patch somewhere. Oh, oops. There it is. I think that's it. But before we go there, let's go ahead and get our shiny stone. It's not a hidden item, but what is going to be our hidden item is going to be somewhere in the scratchy patch, which we need to get to. There's Sandstorm. I'm going to just go ahead and battle these trainers here. Marowak can execute. All right.
Also, another thing... I mean... Again, I feel comfortable saying this since we're near the end of the walkthrough. I had the set for Star Raptor uh, documented prior to Sinnoh coming through. So what I did was that I bred, I bred a Togepi, so that way you can have the egg move double edge. Oops, my mouse is clicky today. Um, and then I saved that Togetic specifically for Star Raptor. So that way, once Sinnoh comes through, I can breed it on Star Raptor. I don't need to worry about the move tutor on Star Raptor. I can just get double edge straight from the get go. So, yeah. I did a lot of off camera training. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I did a lot of off camera training. I don't. I don't know if that's a... I think most YouTubers do that, don't they? I mean, when they do a, a region walkthrough, they they do what's called off-camera training, where they... After the, after the camera gets done rolling, they go in a, in a field, or they go someplace where they can get XP pretty fast. And then, once they... Oh, man. This employee wants to be cruel today. Anyways, yeah, so, so they go into a patch or where they get a lot of XP, and they just start training over and over and over again until the Pokemon is the, at the level that they desire. And then, then they start the camera, and that's essentially what I've been doing, where, you know, where I do a lot of off-camera training. So, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't really want to mention too much yet because there may be a sequence where where we may have one more event happen in our Sinnoh journey. All right, let's go and ding it. There's our full restore. That is our that is our other hidden item, and there is a house right there. So we're gonna go inside this house, see what's gonna go on. Your quest has brought you here very well. Let me reward you with some absolutely astounding moves. This is an ultimate move. Shall I teach it to a Pokemon? Uh, I have no clue what move you're going to do. Uh, oh, this is the guy for the starters. Yeah, all right. Hey, I like these move tutors. I wasn't sure if I battled this person yet, but let's see. Yeah, and there's there's three more places where we can get a hidden item right there. I'll go ahead and do earthquake and and just nuke this this Gastodon. And who's next? Who's next after Gastodon? Claydol. All right, we're gonna nuke it with Night Slash and hope for the best. All right, and then what's our last hidden item? Or not? You know, but sorry. What is our last Pokemon? I should say. How oh, much? 16. 16. Oh man. We are so close to leveling. Well, there was a stalemate. Alright. There we go. Alright. Level 64. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. Okay, yeah, no problem. That battle loss. After all, we, we, we gave it everything we had. Okay, yeah, no problem. There's the karate guy. All right, we are back to square one. So let's go ahead and get that item there. Is 
There's a full heal. So we still got three more hidden items that we, that we need to get. Alright, so what is our third hidden item? Our third hidden item is going to be the star piece. Star piece. Let's see here. Alright. Oh, nice. You're going to change the weather. That that That's nice. Good, good pick. Good pick. Although it's not going to help you in the end, um, because I still got I still got a few Pokemon that can weather some hail. But that's a pretty good way to, to get rid of my my Gliscor, because my Gliscor was holding me through the sandstorm. All right, there we go. Youch! Okay, no problem. Okay, so that's the beauty of PokeMO's new bike bike mechanics is that you don't have to. Well, what I hate about the original games is that you had to go all the way through the other region, then you got to then you got to go as fast as humanly possible, and it was just annoying. The Pokemon Platinum mechanics on that. So I really have to thank the the development team for for omitting those those mechanics entirely. So thank you so much to I mean, the Pokemon developers are listening. Thank you so much for for getting rid of the of the whole we need to go ahead and speed up on our bike mechanics. Just to go up that ledge. Cuz that, that was a lot of pain. That was. I remember that. That was a lot of pain back in 2009. <laughs> oh man. I saw the future of it. Okay. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and... I think there's an item somewhere. Oh, let's go and ding it. There's our PP Max. And that is the second to last hidden item on this route. Which tells me that there are... There's actually one item that I am I am missing. Before we do that, let's go ahead and go inside. Uh, yes. What does this guy have to say? Uh, Badge, thanks for... Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, sure. Do 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 grandson. Well, um, worn down by trying to live up to his parents' expectations, he found refuge in tinkering with machines. Oh no, are you, are you Cyrus's dad? <laughs> I just, I met Cyrus's dad right here. Oh my gosh, D does he not know what I did to? Well, technically not what I did. What Garatina did to him in Part Ten. This guy has no clue. <laughs> this guy has no clue what I did to his son. Actually, he has no clue what Garatina did to him. For anyone that, that you know, I don't want to mention it here, but you, you want to watch, you may want to watch part 10 of the Sinnoh walkthrough, because part 10 is going to really shed a light as to what happened to Cyrus. Let's go and ding it. There's our calcium right there. All right, and that is our last hidden item, but but we still have one hidden item that's missing. That hidden item is somewhere by a rock formation. I can't really describe the rock formation. It's, it's not a meteor, it's a rock formation. So it's I think it's this one, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Oh, it's that, that rock right there. Star piece, let's go and ding it. And that is our last hidden item of our route. So. There's actually going to be, um, so if we proceed to the root here, our next hidden item is going to be, okay, okay, our next hidden item is going to be a tiny mushroom, which should be right by, right by a body of water.
Okay, there we go. Hello there, Sandra. How you doing? You have Rachu. Okay, no problem. And I got the deadly frog. Known as a Toxicroc. I've always wanted to have Toxicroc on my team, but due to the HM limitations in the original Pokemon Platinum version, I was unable to put Toxicroc in my team. So, yeah. It's so nice to use Toxicroc. It really is. Alright, and my health has been recovered. Now I do now I now all I have to do is just wait for Doug Trio to do Earthquake and see what's gonna happen. Okay, let's go and do the bullet punch because bullet punch has priority. And what's the last Pokemon? Raichu, Doug Trio, and Ninetales. Thank you so much. Let me go ahead and do Drain Punch and I'm gonna finish off the Ninetales and we should be able to get that item over there. You won't let me win. Uh, no, you gotta win fair and square. Okay, let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go do the full full re restore there. That sounded so bad. Okay. Uh. Now we gotta sneak right through here, and there should be a tree to cut right there. Some people may be thinking, "Oh man, I can't get that item." All right. Let's go and get the potion there, and uh, our hidden item is still a little ways away. Okay, this guy is, is arousing my suspicion. Oh, uh, new nugget. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you so much for the nugget, really appreciate it. Oh, why not? Oh? Thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> that has been the wise. Oh, all right. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for the wealth boost. Really appreciate it. Okay, so let's go ahead and use cut, and we should be... All right, we are near the hidden item. It's protein. But the tiny mushroom is... Well, we need to use surf over here. Now we see a little hint of that. All right, so let's go and ding it. There's our Thunderstone right there. And that's going to be our first and last hidden item of Route 229, which is the route that we're on right now. And Resort Area has one hidden item, but... Oh, oops, that, that was an error. Okay, so... Um, so we got it. Yeah, we we we, we got to go over here. Yes, extra training. Um why the guy and the woman couldn't see us at the same time amazes me. All right. Curla and I have Deadly Frog, so let's go ahead and use it. <laughs> it's so funny, both of them shuddered. It's kind of hilarious. Manina. Not really the smartest pick against the Toxicroc, because all I gotta do is do Drain Punch, and it should be... should be done, like, right there. Okay. You love your Pokemon. You love your Pokemon really shows. Alright. I wonder what this guy has to say. Welcome to the Pokemon show. Uh... Okay. Ace Trainer Felix. What what type of show are you talking about? Exactly. I, I, I'm not really catching that. But what I do know is this. I'm going to switch into Low Punny and I'm going to do Ice Punch. And that should do a number on your Salamance. Oh, wow. All right. Let's go ahead and do Ice Punch. Boom! And Salamance is done. It's finished. Okay, what's the next Pokemon over here? Next Pokemon is going to be a Dusk... Dusk... Uh, 
Those cops. Oh man, if Glyscore was still alive, I could hit it with with a with a night slash. But we're gonna deal with nine tails here. Nine tails is kind of our spare. You know what? No, we're not gonna hit with the dark type. We're gonna hit with fire type since to try to do will wisp on us. Yeah. Or not will wisp. It did fire punch. So. <laughs> I'm so used to du du Dusclops doing Will Wisp over the years. But yeah. Alright, so this is how you use Surf, and we're gonna go there in a moment. But before we go there, first we, we wanna take a rest at Resort Area, which should give us. Well, I mean, hey, there's that real estate agent. It's a traveler, I have a villa. Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. It's not what you're thinking. It's no scam. In fact, you'll be doing me a favor. Oh? So see who was given this villa, but to be honest, I don't need it either. Say, uh, don't say a word, but just nod to this is villa's yours. So what? 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 I still strike you as shady. I dare say I cannot blame you though. As an offer to to get a villa for free, they'll, they'll, this does throw up red flags. I agree. Okay, so we can't get that item because it is currently. We, we need to go to the villa, and we can't. Because this guy... Because apparently our character is terrified of, of us being scammed. No problem. Yeah, I'd be terrified too. I mean, if a, if a real estate agent was offering me houses for free, I'd be wondering, like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Not to get into too much detail, but... Uh, when there's certain contractors or certain people that, that you work with, they're like, hey, you know, just I'm gonna do this repair for free because I like you. Uh yeah, that's a little bit suspicious. I mean it could smell like a scam, so yeah. That's a good example of real world knowledge. If you're ever gonna do anything involved with uh, real estate make sure you make sure you uh you check all of your people to make sure that they're not trying to scam you all right so i'm just gonna say the resort area item is unaccessible now i know what some people are gonna ask Oh, Sniff, I do apologize. This is an exclusive establishment open to a select few. You may consider a special... Uh, you may consider it a special cream of crop. If you wish to enter, I suggest you start by collecting lots of ribbons. Uh, no. Dead. But, um... But if you do go in there, I think that you... I think your happiness of your Pokemon boosts quite a bit. But you just gotta collect a lot of ribbons. At least that, that's what happens in the original games. I'm not too sure about Pokemon. All right, so let's go inside this this house. See what's going to go on here. Oh, everybody seems to enjoy watching TV. This trainer's <laughs> concrete. It's not limited. Sino, no, it's happy Pokemon. You fight yourself. Oh, okay. Hello there, sir. You've seen Pokemon and Sino. That's cool. I'm going to travel Pokemon when I get bigger. Okay. Hello. All I need to be happy is my TV. I love sitting here. So knowledge. I love. Uh, I learned about the Pokétech marking map, for instance. Okay. Coming up, massive waves of body shrinkage verified by scientists. Locals advised to avoid weather. <laughs> Whoever writes these TV news ads really needs to uh, really needs to um, get some credit there. I love those those TV ads. All right. So there's two hidden items at Route 230. All right. All right. So there is going to be one. Actually, there's going to be two of them on a grassy rock patch somewhere. But let's go right ahead. Check out my physique, though. The rough sea sculpted this awesome body. <laughs> Takes me back to high school. 
That really does, because back back in my high school, guys used to used to enjoy wearing shirts that that, that show off their their muscular physique. Yeah, man. I mean, that 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 is so funny, because yeah, because I remember the students here, yeah, the uh, students at my high school, that man, they. They did that. Even in my college days, people have done that, too. Um, well, thank you so much, Toxicroc, for landing a poison. I mean, thanks to that, Kingler is no longer with us. But we still have Krabby to live on. To, to live it on there. And there we go. Maybe it must go to physique. But, but there is no strength behind it. Okay, let's go and chat with the ladies over here. So let's see what. Uh... All right, people keep coming to us for battles. I really don't know why. Tee hee hee. Um. Okay. That also reminds me of high school. As well, because back in my high school, um, I used to hear. Uh. Yeah. yeah, I think I did hear about this. You hear about cheerleaders chatting about, oh man, you know, uh, people keep coming to us, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows why. I don't want to say it here on camera, but everybody, everybody knows why. Um, kind of like the football players talking about their physique. They, what's the next? Uh, swimmer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we lost. So, what do you have to say? I'm a mermaid drifting along the waves. And a high-speed gal who battles with Pokemon. All right! High speed. You know, my mind takes me back to internet every time you keep saying high speed. Because I think internet, cable, anything that has to do with speed. Yeah. By the way, I don't think cable is useful anymore. I mean, nowadays everybody just gets their their. Uh, I mean, the internet's wonderful. I mean, you can get a lot of stuff off of the internet. The internet has replaced cable in a sense. So, yeah, internet, Netflix. Um, my tears well up. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and chat with this swimmer. By the way, our hidden items are going to be at that particular island, but first we're going to go ahead and battle this swimmer and see what he has to offer. I'm a trader riding a Pokemon. I like that. Let's battle it out. All right. Got artillery there. Yeah, I remember back back when I battled a lot of these people. It's like, man, wow, Poliwhirl. Well, I didn't say a while about Octillery. I was like, wow, Poliwhirl. I can't believe that's a Poli... Yeah, nowadays, I mean, PokeMO connects all the regions. So if you want Poliwhirl, you can always go to, to another region there. All right, so there's a hidden item right where that rock smash is, right here. So there's hidden item number one. Let's go ahead and ding it right there. Water stone. We got our water stone. Speaking of Poliwhirl, if we gave it to that swimmer, he can be able to evolve his Poliwhirl. But we're not going to give it to the swimmer because uh, we don't want him to get stronger. Otherwise, otherwise it's going to be a very formidable battle, you know, to battle against him. All right. And our last hidden item is going to be the Ultra Ball, which is going to be right over here if we went ahead and did Rock Smash here. There's our Ultra Ball. All right, and there is the very last hidden item documented on this guide. But, but, keep in mind, we, 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 we skipped Route 227 and we skipped uh, Stark Mountain. 
So I really wanted to access these places. All right, so we got the blue shard. And I know, I know some people want to see what these trainers have to offer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and use Surf. And let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and see. Let's go and see what, what these swimmers have to offer. All right, there's your Pokemon growing properly. Check out my check out my, my dynamic form. Victory is assured. Okay, very well then. Uh, swimmer Sophia and Sam. And that really does remind me of high school. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Um, there we go. Let's go and do Drain Punch here. There we go. <sighs> okay, Drain Punch. Now let's go ahead and let's go and see what the next two Pokemon are. Their next two Pokemon are gonna be Deli Bird and Gasodon. I don't think Gasodon is gonna enjoy us too much because what we're about to do is. Uh, close combat on the deli bird. What I'm about to do is do a drain punch on it. Level 70, nice. I like that. I like that a lot actually. Alright. Maybe two grown up. Oh that's how it is. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> Oh, man. And we are back at the fight area. All right, so now we're going to fly over to the the survival area. The reason why I wanted to skip Stark Mountain is because Stark Mountain is actually quite involved, and that's that's when we can start acting. You know, at least now that's when I can start acting. There's a special sequence. Yeah. And then once I yeah I'm gonna go ahead and check my timestamp one moment all right my timestamp all right so it's as of right now it's an hour and 13 minutes on the clock let me go ahead and do rock climb and then I'm gonna go uh, no I don't want to do that I want to go over here hopefully I can release all my videos on Thursday after I get done taping part part 15 I want to start taping part 16 because um, I gotta tell you my schedule so what's happening is that uh, on Sunday I'm gonna actually you know I'm gonna actually go to a uh, to a wedding Sunday through Tuesday of, of this uh, this week so that's gonna be the 16th through I believe 16th to 18th so, yeah. All right, I got marked on my calendar, so. Yeah. I'm so happy for Zachary and Jessica, though. Those are the two, two um, future newlyweds. They're not newlywed as, as of the time of the taping here. But once the ceremony is going to be done, they're going to become newlyweds. So it's going to be so nice to see. Uh, all right. So a little bit into my real life there. Let's go ahead and dive into our hidden items, shall we? And these are going to be our last hidden items. So our last hidden items are going to be at Route 227 and at Stark Mountain. So, all right, let, let's go ahead and end this off with a bang. I'm going to do a, some last, uh, some last acting. Well, I was about to say last minute acting, but it's not, it's not last minute. I've, I've planned this. Just in case Dark Mountain is accessible, I have a sequence in mind. So, stay tuned. All right. Taros, nice. I like that. Thank you so much. That that that, that was that was a great service. Should have paid attention. Yep. Okay. 
Hello, ma'am. How you doing? Uh, we've grown stronger together in nature and in the concrete jungle. Well, well, well we make everywhere go... Uh, we make everywhere we go our playground. Oh, alright. So... Right, that one's going to be number 29 and... Sorry, number 230 and 231. Alright. Oh, this is a great matchup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think Lil Punny doesn't like us. Well, at least uh, her Lil Pup. At least uh, uh, her Lil Punny. Our Lil Punny enjoys us since since it's a hundred percent happy. Yep, happiness is a hundred percent, which is why I taught it return and why it's holding a silk scarf. You're really tough, aren't you? Well, I mean, I defeat the Elite Four, but, but I know some people on Pokemon who are a lot tougher. I'll just put it to you that way. All right. Hello. All right, I'm going to do my acting in three, <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, <clears throat> is it, if it isn't, best friends, it's been a while. Oh. Would you like to have some vodka? Oh, I'm I'm all right, thanks. Anyways, <laughs> you've grown to be so tough that you're training out here now. Everyone keeps getting tougher and tougher, and I I'm doing that. They, they develop closer bonds with their Pokemon. Isn't it just swell? Let's drink to that! That's my master! Well, those are words of wisdom! What? You're still having trouble understanding! Hey, man! Well, why don't you go to the bar and grab a beer? Well, I don't want to grab a beer! Oh, oh, what? Oh, 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 they yelled on that television? Yeah, that was because Primeape was after me. Uh, Primeape's my mape. You, you can take it on, can't you? I guess. But anyways, I don't for a second ever recall, ever recall except you as an apprentice. Oh, or either that or I must have been drunk that day. Oh. I mean, if it is a wrestling moves, or if it isn't a, if I, I can show you all like, but, oh, uh, master, don't be that way. You, you've gotten, you, you, you've got to get me in that club, in that survival area. How did I, how did I get involved in this? Uh, here I was just drinking, and uh, I was just going about my own bike. My route, I mean, I mean, Maylene met you at, at the Snow Point City. She has a certain brand of vodka she likes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, and I have a certain brand of beer that I like. But, uh, you're over here at the sur survival area, but... Ah, uh, yeah. And you two... I don't know why you two are... I don't know why you two are here, but... Anyways... His best friends are going to the Stark Mountain. Well, yep, you Stark Mountain, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Even the wild Pokemon there are very, very tough. If you're a Pokemon, aren't we only trained? Then they'll have a miserable time. And again, that kind of challenge is an exciting prospect, especially when. When, uh, when you can drink to that. Man, I could enjoy, uh, I could enjoy those, uh, those, uh, uh, those wild battles. Man. But no matter what, you better be fully prepared. I gotta get ready for another tournament. Farewell! You know, I think I'm gonna get a little tougher again. That's why I'm off to the Battle Frontier, so I can make some challenges. Master, wait for me!
Man, that guy has a lot of coffee. Hello, ma'am. Oh dear, are your Pokemon feeling tired? Mm -hmm. You should rest up. You should rest up. It's a good idea. Rest up here. Yes, that's right. Get some well, well earned rest. Oh, your Pokemon still look tired. Do they need a rest? Uh, I, I am gonna. I'm gonna just leave. Uh, is that right? Are you sure now? Oh, it's only for. I'm only concerned for your sake. No need to worry about putting me out. Okay, that was not in my script. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> the, the, you know, some of these lines are quite creative. Uh, but there's actually two hidden items that we should be looking at. Oh, hello. Yo! If it isn't best friends! Oh, hello, Buck. How you doing? Oh, training right away, aren't you? Yeah. Sure, uh, since you're training anyways, can you do me a favor? Yeah. I would like you to patrol Stark Mountain for me. Uh, yeah, sure. Up past here, there's a volcano. It's Stark Mountain. Deep inside that special rock is, is called the Magma Stone. Oh? I can't explain it well, but it's really important. It keeps the Pokemon asleep. But lately, I've been hearing some rumors about vandals at Stark Mountain. Who could possibly go to Stark Mountain? I don't know. So they say some guys in spacesuits are causing trouble here. What? But their leader is... Well, I mean, if you watch part 10, their leader... Oh, man. He... Uh, he had a pretty brutal death at part 10. I, I'm surprised that they're still in operation. Well, I don't know, man. But they're in operation, man. Whatever, whatever they're called. Team, uh, uh, Team Planet? Uh, I think they're called Team Galactic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Team Galactic, uh, that sounds much better. Yeah, but anyways. Huh? What, me? Oh, I was the one at the Pokemon Center because my Pokemon were low on HP. So, if you want to go, if you want to get up to Stark Mountain now, that'd be great, thanks. Uh, okay. But we're not going to do that yet, because we have two hidden items that we need to get first. Hello? The world is huge, and there's many different Pokemon. What, what kind of Pokemon are with you? Please, may I have a look? I want to have a look. I want to have a look. Alright, there we go. You know what's so funny? You can't really tell the difference between a bird watcher and the cool trainer. So I have to modify my voice a little bit. Anyways, I can mention that in part 16 because we won't have any trainers to... Or at least we, we don't have... Even the trainers that we do battle, it's not going to really be too... Like, we're not going to be acting or anything like that. Anyways. Oh. But yeah, um, it would be nice to have a look of your po at your Pokemon. No problem. It's a Viper. Alright, you just gave me an excuse to do foul play. Earthquake! Oh? Absol! Alright, Drain Punch. Oh, darn it. No! Ah! Uh, well, well, uh, well, there are Pokemon that are wonderful. Okay, very well then. There's our Zinc, but that's not our hidden item. Our hidden item is going to be... It's going to be right over, I think... Oh, it's going to be right by, right by that rock climb. Yes. Right here. Let's go and ding it. We got the max repel. Nice! Perfect! The fact that our repel went out and we got a max repel. That is that is what you call a wonderful scripted moment. Okay, and then the next hidden item is going to be a star piece, which is going to be a little bit of ways away. But we're going to get the item first. Charcoal. 
Okay. Let's go and get that. So there's no house or anything like that. So we're going to have to jump off the ledge and continue our adventure from here again. All right. Let's go and ding that. That's going to be our star piece. And that's the last hidden item of Route 227. Now, all the remaining hidden items of this entire Cine walkthrough are going to be in the Stark Mountain. All right. Hello. I have meditated under a waterfall to temper my spirit. Allow me to demonstrate my strength. hi -ya! Oh. Excuse me, I'm slightly drunk. Um, Wake and I were drinking earlier. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. What do you have to say, trainer? Oh, darn it. Alright. What do you have? Metacham! You can take out this toxic rock, can't you? Uh-huh. Darn it. Ah, uh, chew! Sniffle! Uh, I need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh. I think he fainted. Maybe he was, uh, maybe he had a little bit too much alcohol. Okay, Pokemon are healthy! Oh, they're Dragon Trainer Darren! How you doing? I am so glad you have a Dragonite, because guess what I get to do? I get to do this, and I get to do that. Draco Meteor! Whoever was in charge of these sets, uh, can go, good job on that. White Herb, that, oh, that's a real good move. Or a real good item to equipped if you're doing Draco Meteor. Alright, so, there we go. For more competitive advice, you can watch the competitive self-help video that that uh, Rennies and Angelian helped me make, which, by the way, they are two tournament winners, so so uh, that's why I featured them uh, on the, in the uh, competitive self-help video. And that video is made to be timeless, so, yeah, there we go. And there's our Life Orb, which, by the way, We've also discussed in the competitive self-help video on the Mayor Best Friends YouTube channel. That item is very useful. Especially if you have a mixed sweeper. Very useful. Yes. There's our Max Ether. This is galactic. Back to gay. Over. Ah! This is Sharon! Ah, boss. How you doing? Yep, doing great, doing great. We're gonna take this heat ran and we're going to go back in the, uh, in the, in the dotted world. Uh, this is Commander Mars. You mean to say distorted world, right? Yeah! And I don't think that's the legendary we want. No, it is! Look, honey! Uh, look. Honey! <sighs> what? What now? Well, tell you what, well, we're gonna guard this mountain. Because there's a, there's a certain ma magma stone that we need to get. And I think we can bring it back to the laboratory, and I think we can somehow get back into the... A uh, distorted world or something like that. You mean the distortion world? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, um, well, honey, uh, uh, say, would you like to make some sandwiches when, once we come home? Uh, yeah, you go ahead and make the eggs. Alright. This is Commander Jupiter. Why are we even talking about this? What, what, why are we wasting so much time with this stupid conversation? I am the leader, Sharon! This is not the release of time! 
<sighs> hey, this is Team Galactic. Uh, we're going to go into Stark Mountain. Let's go and do this. This is a 10-4. You got it. You got it, buddy. You know, buddy old pal. Yeah, but... Can, can that old guy really take over? What do you mean? Well, Sharon... He's a little... Like... I don't think he has the chops for it. Eh! Ah, you know... He, he's Cyrus's, uh, Cyrus's uncle. It's okay. Or, not uncle. He's his brother. Sorry. He's his older brother. Isn't he, like, 57 or something like that? Yeah, well, uh, uh Sharon is, like, 60-something. But, well, well, I mean, can he replace him? Well, yeah, you, you saw what happened in Part 10, right? I think, uh, the, the knight pretty much, uh, you know, he took on Garatina. You saw it! Oh, yeah, yeah, I did see it. Oh, that, that was a brutal, brutal way to go. Yeah, well, man, I... You know what? Tell you what. I think Sharon, I think he has an opportunity. I'm just gonna follow what he does. But, yeah, I mean, I do hear you. I mean, the guy is kind of a... I mean, he, he's... He's, uh... I mean, the Sharon guy is a commander, but... Like, he just can't replace Cyrus. I mean, he had a certain gold to him. This is Sharon! Uh, well, this is team, team Galactic radioing in. Team Galactic A, what, what do you want? Hey, can you please go off to uh, McDonald's and get me, uh, go get me a, a, a Big Mac? But we don't do that service. Well... Th that's why I have Team Galactic, because they, they could be able to do that service. Uh, I'm just guarding the magma stone. One moment. <clears throat> you know, this sandwich from Subway tastes really good. Oh. <coughs> Sir, are you eating on the walkie-talkie? Uh, yeah. Well, well uh, isn't, the, isn't the sandwich going to get all over the magma stone? Uh, nonsense! Nobody! There's question. Uh, Sharon. I, but, how about the knight? It, what if he comes? What knight? I mean, it's, it's daytime, isn't it? It's, it's morning. Yeah, but I'm not talking about that knight. I'm talking about the other knight. The, 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 the guy uh, who took on Cyrus. Eh, that's back in the Middle Ages. You, you all are just a bunch of crazy nuts. Is Commander Mars is keep guard of the, of the uh, of the uh, Stark Mountain, and we're gonna try to get the situation settled. Yes, ma'am, you got it, ma'am. But anyways, maybe this is a good time for me to be done with this Team Galactic thing. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, go inside. Hey. You! Tell us where, where Master Cyrus went! Uh, he had a pretty brutal way to go. That's all I got to say. Uh, watch part 10, if you don't know. Oh, where, where were you after you disappeared at the spy, a, a Spear Pillar? Huh? The Distortion World where Garatina was? Yeah! Garatina! Yeah, it started to come back, yeah. I, uh... I think your boss, uh, I think, uh, all I got to say is that he's no longer with us, and, uh, yeah. You mean he d d d d died Yeah. Honey, I mean, Commander Sharon, uh, sorry, uh, our boss died. Oh, that means in the will, I'm the leader of Team Galactic! Oh boy! Uh, I am the next of kin! I am in charge! I'm Sharon! Yeah! Oh, uh, this is Commander Jupiter. I just went because my husband Saturn told me to join you. Just in case there's anything wrong. Uh, yeah, but anyways... You're not going to make any sense. Don't play this card with me. Fine, you don't want to talk. I'll bash you and make you talk. Hello there! 
How you doing? Hi, I'm Sharon. Um, hi. I think I saw you in the laboratory. Uh, yeah, you did. Honey, let me concentrate. Uh, you got it. Man, so nice to be married to Mars. She, she, she's so nice. Now that, uh, uh, uh don't, now that we're, we're here, hey, uh, is that the knight you were talking about? Yes, sir. He's scary. Ah, forget about it. He's not scary. Look at him. He has a nine tails. What's so scary about him? Well, he, uh, Porygon Z, you could take on this nine tails. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna do something real intense. Ready? I'm gonna do Hyper Beam! Die, you knight! Die! That's my wife! She's, uh... She, she is quite strong, isn't she? Yeah, and your wife is about to, uh... Is about to lose. You don't say that! My wife is strong! Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Honey, just let me concentrate. I, I... This knight is really trying to take me out here. Don't worry, my love. I'll make sure you can concentrate. Oh, darn it. No! My Bronzong fainted. No! Electrovire! Oh, darn it! Perugly! No! Honey, uh, uh, it's okay. You come to me for, for, uh, uh, I, it's okay. Um, it's okay, my, my, my love, it's okay. Oh, what's with you? Do you have to, did you have a vendetta against me? Oh, my Pokemon let me down again. How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to give the information about our missing Master Cyrus? I mean, sorry, our our dead master. I mean, I'm your master, darling. You, uh, we can go ahead and uh, give the information. Uh, you know, after work or something. Oh, oh, man, why are you ruining this dialogue with best friends? Wait, his name is Ben. Oh yeah, yeah, the best friends guy. I made the main lab laboratory. Yeah, that guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, best friends, if you're listening, um, make yourself useful and get me a uh, uh, McDonald's Big Mac, please. No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Well, then stop wasting our time. Ah. Uh. Mars, you're, you're really weak. Pitiful, too. You, you make me embarrassed to be a commander like you. Fine, I'll go next. I want to know what, what became of Master Cyrus, too. But despite his death, we will avenge for, for Commander Sharon. Alright. Hey, Saturn's wife. Go ahead and battle him. <sighs> yeah, um... Honey, you know, it, it's best to, you know, just keep your mouth shut and just let, just let Jupiter do her thing. You got it, Susan. I mean, uh, Mars. Honey, that, 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 but that's my real name. Don't, don't say my real name. I'm, I'll go by our, we go by our code names. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh. Hey, you're Sharon, right? I, I know your real name. You're, you're. You're, you, you know, you're Sharon, right? Yes. Good. But isn't that, like, Sharon, isn't that, like, the dwarf planet's moon or something like that? Oh. Honey, why, why, why do you do this? Can you two stop bickering? I'm being distracted. Ugh. The night is terrifying me. Here, I got a crowbat, too. To have, to remember Cyrus and his and his legacy on Team Galactic. 
Um, you know, we we at least got rid of Lil Punny. What the Star Raptor? Oh, great! Isn't that going to be lovely? Brave Bird. No, no. Oh man. Trouble pass. Close combat. No! No! Oh, man. Toxic. You can take it out. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and do U-turn here. What the? No! No, 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 no! Oh! So is that the knight? Yes! Oh. Alright. Gasodon! Oh, why? Why do you do this? Why do you have to do this? Foul play. Because your leader was after after a goal that I didn't want him to go after. Well, darn it. You know, we would have been in charge of the world. Team Galactic would have been in charge. And you destroyed it. And now we got this idiot leading us. I mean, if the contract were to be written properly, then Saturn would have been the leader. Well, don't... How dare you say that about my husband? Well, it's true! Saturn would be a much better commander! The, it's much better than this... Who are you talking about me? Sorry, I had to grab another uh, five-foot-long sandwich. We have this idiot leading us. No! How dare you? Okay, that's fine for me. I'm going to look for the source world, right? I shall go there next, right? I quit Team Galactic. Jupiter, you could deal with it. Following Mars lead. Anything irks me, but I'm quitting to do my own thing too. Team Galactic is no fun without Master Cyrus around. I mean, his death is pretty much imminent. This old timer, go ahead, do what you want with Team Galactic. There, you have it. We're going back to being ordinary ladies. You take charge, Saren. You you're really proud about about Cyrus putting that in his will just in case he dies. Take charge of Team Galactic. What? Sorry, I was having another sandwich. Honey, when, when when you come home, make sure make sure you uh, prepare that omelet. All right? Can you two just stop bickering? Like this is why I'm quitting. Well, I'm quitting too. Honey, don't don't be like that. No! I don't want to be a part of your pathetic team. Oh man! Here we have it. You can mop up whatever you want. Excuse me. Says you, an ordinary girl, you're not. What should I do now? I'm leaving on a journey on the right idea. Well, so I'm so impressionable and impendious. What, 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 what do they see in Cyrus? Immature, overthinking buffoon. You know, you know he's my brother. I'm 65 years old. And I got married. He's, he's just a single, pathetic person. I don't see why, why they ever had him as a leader. Anyways. He goes about the trouble of uh, assembling Team Galactic for what? Ultimately, so he can destroy his own creation for his, for his uh, uh, ludicrous vision? I mean, he wants to marry Cynthia? Come on. 
The guy needs to go into the real world. <sighs> he could find plenty of, of uh, plenty of dates. But no, he just wants to go through the hard way. He wants to, he wants to destroy the world and kill uh, uh, a woman's husband just to marry her. I mean, man, that's uh, man, that's uh, that's one awful brother I got there. Anyways, it's no thanks to him that that I have to struggle with the pieces. But that's fine. The young can live with with their dreams. I prefer to remain firmly in reality, and then for that, money is paramount. You there, child. I'm not dealing with you. What? But he's, he's the knight. Yeah, oh, forget about it. He could be some stupid knight other day. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's like back in the Middle Ages or something like that. But, 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 but the knight. After all, the other Team Galactic members who did all this suffered consequences. We'll be off collecting the Magma Stone. It's all for the money. But, but, Right? Be quiet! He's not gonna take go. He's gonna. He's not gonna take us down. What does he have? The knight. You all are stupid. Huh? All right, Lucario. There we go. An escape rope. Okay, but I don't want to escape yet. We actually have, let's see, we have about, um, we have a star piece that we need to get. 232. Is there PP up? And our star piece is going to be... Is it going to be over... No, it's not going to be over there. It's going to be... I think it's going to be over... Is it going to be... Nope. It's going to be up on the next floor. It's right here, right? Yes. All right. Full heal. There we go. This is full restore, and let's go and get the hidden item right. Let's go and ding it. There's our very first hidden item, the star piece. 232. And 233 is going to be... Oh, it's going to be within the cave. And that's going to be our star piece. Hey, this is Buck. Hey, what's wait up? So what's going on? What, Team Galactic's here? Gotcha. Let's team up and go together. All right. You won't regret teaming up. I'll keep your Pokemon healthy. All right. Thank you, Buck. You're welcome, man. You are welcome. Oh, hello. We're going. We're, we're good to go. We just have to battle now. The trainer of Pokemon are here are gathered to arm put over. They don't. They. They, they all have tricks all under their sleeves. Hey, darling, look! Two trainers! Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know... Hey, how you, how's it going, you two? But... Uh... This is Buck we're talking about. Buck! What does Buck have to do with anything? You all really take me as a guy not to take seriously, huh? Well then. That's fine. What? Ah! Honey, help! This guy is dangerous! Of 
Crobat! Uh, that, that thing is just some overhyped bat. Okay. Oh man. Why? My my glide score was just about to knock out his. Darn it. At least I got black sludge. Ursaring, please. Hey, bud! Let's go try this on for size. I don't think that we should be burning Ursaring. It's okay, you can take it on, can't you? I mean, I can try. Come on! I know you can take this thing on! There we go. Oh, darn it. No! I'm being poisoned. That's okay. Double edge. See, I told you to be okay. I got this all under control. You do? Yes. All right, all right. Now, look what I'm about to do. No, no! Ugh, out of useful items. You're the trainer that don't that cannot be taken lightly. Oh, thank you, Buck. You're welcome, partner! I got a revelation this morning. So? I, I knew that uh, I would have a wonderful encounter here today. I, I'll use my mystifying power to pulverize you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyways, uh... Have you met my girlfriend Marley yet? Oh yeah, I met her in the last episode. Yeah, isn't she, uh, um, uh, isn't she just a swell person to speak to? Uh, I mean, I guess? Uh, I'm glad that you two got along. Anyways, this, yeah, so, uh, yeah, she called me. Oh, oh, excuse me, phone's ringing. Hey, Molly, how you doing? Uh, hello, Buck. Uh, I am... Currently, um, at the place where, where, uh, where that bridge is there for Shaman. Oh, yeah, yeah, you told me you liked that place. Anyway, so, uh, guess who I'm with? Uh, uh, some guy? Uh, some guy with blonde hair? Oh, who, who would that be? Uh, Bob? I don't know if I'm with a Bob, but I'm with the best friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw him, yep. <sighs> well, tell him that I said hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, my girlfriend says hello, best friends. Oh, uh, hello, Marley. Yep, he says hello right back. Anyways, yeah, it's been nice chatting with you, Marley. Yep. Uh, well, love you. Well, love you too, honey. Mm-mm. Anyways, yeah, it's real nice chatting with her. You know, uh, I gotta tell you how, how we met. So, I, I went into the into my father's uh, to father's restaurant, and uh, Marley was just there sitting there, and so we chatted up a little bit, and uh, yeah, I asked her out, and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, the, that is the uh, the end of the story. All right.
So, uh, how come you're glancing at a piece of paper? That piece of paper is is the the map to all the hidden items. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. It's important. I like I like some items myself. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right, there's an iron right there. Iron, iron, great. That is item number. Oh, that's the last hidden item number. 239, so I think I overshot a little bit. No problem, bud. I overshoot too sometimes. Especially when, uh, when I go, uh, especially when I go do uh, uh, target practice uh, with archery. I uh, I do a bit of some overshooting sometimes. I don't hit the bullseye. Anyways, what do you guys have to say? Oh, what do you expect to achieve here? I'll be making this one that call. Are you seeing the mythical Pokemon too? Let's battle then. Mythical Pokemon? What are you talking about? I just wanted to get the Magma Stone. So that Heatran can... can uh, <gasps> Heatran! That's the mythical Pokemon! Hey, bud, are you okay? Uh, no, no, it, uh, I, I, I'm fine, but... Eh! Yeah. Yep! Dragon Breath, you could take this thing out, can't you? Well, now you can't, because I did Heat Wave. Oh, darn it. Drifloom, you could take this Toxic Croc out. Alright. Alright, Buck. You got this. Well, I'm so glad I got the fence. Because I get to do heat wave now. You guys are done. We are? Yep. You all are done. Fanata over. But, 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 it, no butch. It's all over. It's done. Night Slash. Oh. Drifloom! Oh no! Drifloom is down! Eh! Look, buddy! I got the heat wave here! Excuse me! Shiftry! You could take it out! I don't know why you pull up a shiftry, but. Okay, buddy! Whatever! Leaf Storm, Aerial Ace, oh, no, alright bud, what do you have to say about yourself, what are you going to do, Dra Dragon Claw, that's worthless, Heat Wave, oh darn it, yep, I got this, Bagon, Bagon's pointless. Dragon Claw, you can take this thing out. Well, now you gotta deal with me. Oh? Uh, help! Nobody cares. You're, you are in this right. Both of you, you and your Pokemon. There's nothing left. Eh! Okay, so now, here's what we're going to do. I think there's a hidden item over there. Right where Floyd is. Wait a minute, I'm etching for a battle. Wait, what? Over there! Go over there! Oh? Yes. What are you doing? I'm using Max Repel. Oh, okay, and...
We got the star piece right there. That is our second hidden item right there. We still got a few more. So we got the Firestone. Oh. Hey! You two! My Pokemon can destroy anything, and you think you can win? Well, with one mighty flap, my bird will, will whisk away the embers. Hey! You two don't even know what's what's about to happen. Uh, well, I, uh... Oh, oh, poor Firo. Oh, that hurt. Ow! How does that make you feel? Breloom! Congratulations for winning the reward of being stupid. What? I have a Torkoal. I'm going to do Heat Wave now. You can't spoil my friend like that! Yes, I can. I just did that. Well... You're going to suffer the consequences of, of my friend being spored. Oh, thank you, Buck. You're welcome, good buddy. Brave bird, yes! That's amateur hour, or whatever, whatever the word is. Amateur hour. Now. Excuse me. We weren't up for the task. We failed to get off the ground. Eh. We'll jump off a cliff, you two. Oh, stupid. Buck, uh, I, I don't wish them any ill will. Well, whatever. But anyways, go ahead and use Rock Smash on that. So to see what happens. There's a bunch of Pokeballs there, but for some reason we can't get them. But, hey, stairs. Oh. Let's see, what's our other item? Oh, it's Firestone, so that should be right over there. It's at the one of the corners. Hey! Yeah? More trainers! Oh? Just base oh, wait, wait, what's the time? Hey! You two clowns! B we're not clowns! We're not! We demand respect! Uh, watching too much Roger Dean of Dangerfield films, right? R what? Drapion! Use Earthquake! Oh no! Honey! Why? I didn't expect my air balloon to pop! Yeah, whatever. Heat wave. Oh! Honey, you got this! But! 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 Um! Pupitar! Eh! Go ahead. Oh, man. Oh, another new memory was born. Oh, another new memory. It's a chain of memories. You two enjoy your memories. I'm going to go with best friends to get these items. Oh, 
All right, there, there we go. There we are. We got overheat. Are there any hidden items over here? The answer is no. There actually needs to be four of them in a line, which we don't see yet. I'm just enjoying my time battling tons of trainers. Oh, I'm glad you are enjoying your time, Buck. Yep. All right. Huh. Oh, that stairwell takes us. Well, I can tell you where it can take us. Take us to a hidden item right over here. There is a flame plate. Flame plate? Nice! That's cool! The right barrier of the plate... The right barrier of the plate draws the plate that it holds. Ah! You know, Marley enjoys reading all that literature. I personally don't don't read too much literature. But Yeah. Anyways. Go right ahead. Get, get, get that item over there. Oh? I'm checking to see if there's any hidden items. Hey. Yeah? I think. Maybe this is just me, but. I think there may be a hidden item over over nearby. I see the way how you're looking at your paper. Yeah, there is. There, there is actually a hidden item nearby. Uh, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it's in a similar location, but it's just not over there. What's it mean to win battles? Oh, well, that is what I what I seek. Teach me, if you will. You you, you come all the way to Pokemon. Oh, all the way to Pokemon, you must be dedicated. Honey, I think we're about to learn something. You're right. Learning, learning. We're not in school. Can't we just go about our adventure? Well, you got to teach us something. Man. I hate to say it, but if you want to be taught something over here, you're all a bunch of idiots. If you want to be learning something over here, you should have went to training school in Jubilife. You all did a serious detour, man. Oh, well. I'm sorry, uh, red-haired man. It's all right, buddy. Bayonet. Onyx. Eh. You two need to go to Jubilife over to that school. That's where I learned my stuff. And frozen, paralyzed, I learned it all. And just to throw an extra bonus for my little buddy over here, over Best Friends, he even has a channel called the Mayor Best Friends YouTube channel. I learned about the competitive scene. I learned about same attack, attack bonus with Heat Wave. Oh, wait, there's a YouTube channel? Yeah, Mayor, Mayor Best Friends. Yeah, he does self-help stuff about the competitive scene. It's quite inspirational. I saw it before the Sino uh, region launched uh, on Pokemo. Oh, it was great. Still great. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Buck. Yep, you're welcome, good buddy. Anyways, uh... Uh, Primeape! Ampharos! You two! Was really? Really? Not know about the competitive scene. But... Yes, I do! See, look! We, we did it! We did it! You didn't expect me to do acrobatics, did you? You all are stupid. But you all are stupid. You don't do acrobatics on Ampharos. Ampharos is good at special attack, not not physical. But 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 but, but yeah, but no 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 buts. How, how did that happen? Have you ever heard about priority, man? Uh no. I grew less concerned. Your dedication won out. 
Yep, you two need to need to learn. Learning. It's cool. Oh, there's rare candy. Who's the best friends? That's what I like about your mayor best friends channel. I don't have to read anything. I just watch a video. I listen to it while I'm training here at Stark Mountain. And, uh, yeah, I just go about my business. Oh, so, I'm so happy for you, Buck. Yep. Anyways, uh, so isn't there all the hidden items from I'm trying to find it. I mean, the downing machine, there's one item where I can't really gauge where it is, so I gotta use the downing machine. Oh, alright. Alright there, best friends here, buddy. Why don't you go, uh, somewhere over there? Alright. So, you know, good old buddy. Uh, let, let's go ahead and go, go over there, I think. Uh, there's a rare candy in between somewhere. Yes. Hmm. Well, I'll try for the other item. Oh? Well, I'll try for, like, Ultra Ball or something like that. Alright. You could try for max revive. Uh, that one looks easier. Yeah. There you go. All right, now you can ding it. Ding. Well. What is this? Is this like a show or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a... Uh, I'm just trying to make it easier on people. Oh, that's great! Yeah, the fact that I start in a, in a thing like that. Huh. Alright, so we got a Firestone. We still gotta look for. Don't worry, good old best friend, good old buddy. You got this. going ding it there's our stardust right there and that should be number 238 that is our there we go so all we need is this 235 I think 230 we got 235 we need 234 and 236 that's gonna be ultra ball and that's gonna be a rare or actually Ultra Ball and a um, Ultra Ball and Firestone. All right, all right, there, best friends, there, buddy. Man, you know, Marley told me that that she wanted to just uh, want to do some stuff. No problem. Go ahead and use your your, your your repel over there. Hey, doesn't that look like the Firestone place? It does. Let's go ahead and ring it. Let's go and ding it right there. I'm looking at it. Hey, that that's great. She got just one more item on that on that piece of paper, right? You're correct, Buck. You're correct. We just got a we just got an Ultra Ball now, which is is right near. All right. Let's go and battle him. Trainer of Dragons of Fury Mountains. It's a total classic setup. Oh, oh my Iron Fist. Howdy, am I crazy for karate? You're going to be crazy for karate in another town. But, 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 I like karate. Ah, no need to like karate over here. We're going to do karate. Um...
Drain Punch. Oh, man. I told you to get more Pokemon. But I didn't want to get more Pokemon. Eh. You two don't, don't really need to be bickering. We're going to defeat you either way. But, 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 but. No buts. Anyways, what's next? I got it. I got it. Right here. Gibble. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. I got it. Earthquake. Man. You all are kind of... Kind of interesting. I do have to say that. Dragonair. What a beautiful little serpent looking thing. But... Not my speed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Losing isn't a happy occasion. Losing just uh, made it clear to me. You were crazy about your Pokemon. Yeah, buddy. I'm crazy about my Pokemon. Anyways, yeah, best friend. So, uh, um, so you were saying something about an Ultra Ball? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Is it somewhere? Got to gauge where we are. Anyways, we gotta stop that 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 guy, that the, the, the weirdo guy. We gotta stop him. Here we are, New Galactic's inside, right? The this is it. No fooling around. Cyrus disappeared. Martin Jupiter's quit. Um, uh, excuse me. Hey. Right here, child, get out of the way. I'm going to eat another sandwich. Hey, bud. Well, what are you doing on a magma stone? Nothing. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just grabbing uh, uh, another sandwich. Nice try. Do you have that magma stone inside that sandwich, bud? Do you want, a, you want an old knuckle sandwich, buddy? Uh, 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 uh. Cyrus has appeared one of the quit. So Saturn said that he'll look after the remains of the Galactic. But he won't join me. So foolish of him. So very foolish of the rest of them throwing away Team Galactic. After all, the, the all the effort that the team makes it grow. Oh, the, the, the power made us rich beyond imagination. That's enough. That the Magnuson will be mine. Hey, you, Team Galactic. What's going on over here? But, huh, yeah. What's this then? They chased me here, haven't you? I like to see children try their best. But, but, but too bad for you. You're too late. No, I'm not. I'm going to give you an all oh, good old-fashioned knuckle sandwich in, uh, in like a few minutes. Uh, get him! With the back of his stone, now you will let the wig in the legendary heat run, and then we'll be able to go to the, to the dotted world! Sorry, I think it's distortion world. Whatever! And I will control the volcanic eruptions to the store to exhort money by the millions. Fear me! I for I am sure in the boss of the reborn Team Galactic. Go, go, go! No, the magma stone! Hey, what's going on? Excellent work, Quack a Gunk. Ha! Ah! Yep, me. Didn't Cyrus have a hit on me? Uh, uh yeah. Uh, but oh, uh, but I'm sure, and I'm I'm his successor. Uh, ah, uh, forget about it. Disguising myself as a boulder stick out was not easy. Now, old timer, the International Police Co Co currently uh, re requests your cooperation. Co Cordon. Uh, concordantly requests your, your cooperation. I am sure that you have, you have much to tell about us, the new Team Galactic. With, with Sharon, Mars, and Jupiter gone, you're, you're all that's left. Hey, that's the International Police, isn't it? Yeah, International Police, right? After all, the only thing, the only one thing to do, done, to be done. Run! Run away! K 
cowards! You all a bunch of cowards! Hey! Um, hey man, do you want to get me a sandwich? Sir, I'm not a waiter. I'm the international police, and you're under arrest. And your boss, or your former boss, has had a hit on, on me. So I've especially taken the liberty to put you in handcuffs. It's my pleasure. You have the right to remain silent, and, uh, and uh, what, what, what you will say uh, uh, can be used against you in, in the court of law. Do you understand? But, uh, but I'm an old-timer. You can't arrest me! Yes, I can. Not only that, but for threatening me and for Team Galactic killing my wife, I've decided to uh, put you in a court of law, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to uh, justify Team Galactic's actions. But I just got the job once Cyrus uh, died. I heard, according to to the will, that uh, that the, the, the Cyrus died. Yeah, so that means you're gonna have to answer for him. Oh, darn it. And here I was just enjoying my sandwiches. Anyways, oh, what a mess. The international police are saying, I know nothing. I have no Team Galactic. Extorting with Heatman. Merely about last week. This harmless old man. I was just... Besides, along Team Galactic commanders, I was the most junior. You can tell me all about it. You got, We got plenty of time. No. Oh, no, no, no. No resisting arrest. You can't win three on one. No. Okay, officer, over here, if you will. All right, this is the police. Now, um, all right, we got a uh, we got Team Galactic's leader over. Is that uh, is that that Cyrus clown? No, Sarge, it is not the clown. It is, uh, I think it is his brother or something like that. You got it. I think he might know some information. Go ahead and guard the looker to make sure he doesn't get hurt. You got it, Sarge. He's an old man. This heat cannot be good for him. Quickly, take him somewhere cool. Yes, the cooler will do. Uh, 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 uh. Best friends. You and you, unfamiliar man, I wish to say. First, it's too hot. Let's exit the, this environment. Whew, the air outside, it's delicious, yeah? Yep, it sure is, man. Say, who are you after all? I'm the looker. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, you too, man. Uh, anyways, yeah, so uh, I met best friends back in 2009. Back at, uh, back at the Stark Mountain. Yeah, it was so nice. Yes, certainly, certainly. Anyways. Uh, yes, uh, it's a pleasure. And so glad to be taken off that hit list. So, we, we were able to, to go into the headquarters and seize, and seize the hit list. And now, uh, now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna use it as evidence in court against Sharon. Anyways. Whew, the air outside. It's delicious, yes? <laughs> Excuse me. I have inhaled volcanic ash by the lungful. Now you too. Now that is what they, they were after. The magma stone. Moving, moving this is said to awaken the Pokemon heat ran. The old tale says that awakening it makes the Stark Mountain erupt. But I haven't moved it. No, but I've moved it. It is here. Will it cause? Will, will this cause an eruption? Hey, don't sweat it, stranger. Even that magma stone, I'll put it back for you. The that that man, he has quite a lot of energy. Yes. Oh yeah, and he's quite a folksy type. Um, I, I like chatting with him. Yeah. Yeah, he, he seems like a pretty great guy. Anyways, best friends, I, I should tell you what why I, I why I've arrived here. After we parted. At Mount Cornet, I investigated their hideout and recovered Sharon's plot, which led me to a stakeout of this place. That Sharon is now securely within our custody. It is safe to say that Team Galactic is a threat no longer. That being said, it looks like my work here is finally finished. Oh, that's great. 
Thanks for job put them back with some. Alright. Amazing trainer. So swing by the place. Uh, so swing by my place later. It's a, it's in the survival area. By seeing by seeing you, stranger. Uh seeing you and your best friends, bye bye. I will also take my leave. The more wonderful things the meeting, the sadder the parting. That, though that is a quote I've heard many years ago in a foreign land. Its meaning, I understand it better now. Farewell, best friends, my friend. Long may you cherish Pokeball. Alright. That is not the end of this video. The end of this video is going to take place once we, uh, once we, once we get all the items. So now, now that, uh, all right, so all the movie scenes are all over. Um, so essentially, I hope you all enjoyed the performance. And uh, yeah, stay tuned to part 16, where I get to go through all the buildings and stuff that, all that I missed. And walk through. So yeah, so all I gotta do is just go through all these items. And we should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to Rock Climb first. There's an Ultra Ball, all right. Oh, hey, let's go ahead and go over here. That makes life a lot easier. Yes. All right, we don't have to go there anymore. Just go... There we go. Born in the Florida City, I'm sure to thrilled to be here. It's a while to do, 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 do. All right. You haven't battled uh, the, this couple yet, but no problem. You should be able to battle them right now. Honey, look, a knight! Isn't that great? This is so romantic. Honey, uh, it's okay. I got it. Rapidust, you can take this thing out, can't you? Oh, darn it. We still got it. We still got something for you. Pelipper. Gardevoir. Oh, darn it. Don't worry, my love. I could take care of this knight. Brave Bird. Oh, darn it. No! No! But don't worry. I survived. My one slither of health. Scald! Wiggly Tough. All right. Toxic. Yeah. I'm going to get this knight. Don't worry. He's going to go down. Loudred, please help! Help in the task to take down the knight. Oh no. Honey, I think we're about to lose. Oh no! The knight is going to defeat us! Can I just go um, and get this item here? No, you can't. Darn it! I tried! Tried my love! We went down. We couldn't stake it out. But 
But I had a win streak going. All right, let's go do the rock. I'll climb over here. Oh yeah, so so we can do this. And there we go. Um, I know some people are gonna probably ask in the comment section whether or not you're gonna see Heat Ran Sprite or not, and the answer is you are not. But we're we're just here to get the remaining items. Oh yeah, we need to go down right here. There's a max ether. Alright, uh, there's our nugget. Can we get... Oh, okay. So there should be... Yes. There's a stairwell. I'm going to go up and down every ledge that we can to see if there's anything here. There we go. Let's go and ding it. There's our Ultra Ball. We couldn't find it with, with Buck, but... Uh, we were able to find it over here, so... Oh, that's nice. Alright, so now we got all the hidden items of Sinnoh, which is, which is beautiful. Unfortunately, Buck was unable to see the last item be obtained, but, but at, least, uh, at least we got all the items now. So we got that, that. I don't think that we need a rock climb there, but I think we went there. Yes. All right, I think we got all the hidden items of Sinnoh. All right. So, That's great. That's great. So All right, and there we go. Now we got all the places all documented. So now we are going to sign off. All right, we are done with our theater mode and we're done pretty much what we're done with the main story. So we're just gonna go through everything that we missed at part 16. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fly over to Jubilife and we're gonna sign off from there. There we go. Let's go and do one last battle, just kind of round it all out. Hey, can we feature you in a news piece we're doing? All we have to do is just uh, battle with me. Will you do that? All right, Reporter Kinsey, live interview on Sinnoh News Today. Best friends, uh, has single-handedly destroyed the, uh, um, he destroyed the, the, the Sharon from, um, from, from Team Galactic. Oh, thanks.
All right. Drifloom. All right, foul play. The media is the victim. They get people to open up when you approach them honestly with no hidden tricks. It's like a relationship between Pokemon and trainers, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, there's Swing Wesley. How you doing? Oh, oops. What a charismatic trainer. It's okay to get the scoop. Fresh cameraman. I always go for the best shot. All right. Mr. Mime, you can take this man on. Uh, okay. Poison jab. Oh, darn it. But don't worry. I have something else in store. Magneton! Still got two more Pokemon to go. Two more! Magneton! Drain Punch. Alright, one more! Machamp! Alright. Whew. Camera's too heavy. I can't battle efficiently. The lively expressions on you and your Pokemon's faces. I'm sure it makes for, for some great television. Alright. Anyway, so... We are going to sign off at... Alright. Sign off right over. Let's see, right over here. So, thank you so much for watching. This is the Roy Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment. Or, or wait a minute, I'm gonna actually sign off with Empoleon. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Roy Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment or subscribe to the channel, like or dislike content that you see here. And this is the Roy Rogers News Channel signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased. Roy Rogers News.